Uh, so Tony O'Donoghue with uh, Noel King. I think, Eamon, your reaction? I think I, I said, and I say it again, I think he's been shown to be out of his depth, uh, Noel King. Way, way out of his depth. Um, there was nothing that Tony said there that denigrated the players. He was asking legitimate questions, and that response proves that he can't handle even the small bit of pressure after a win. Out of his depth in the job. Is it, is it not heat of the moment stuff? He's had a lot of time in Tara. the spotlight over the last few Tara. days to deal with Tara. pressure. Tara. Tara. Give us a break. This week. guy fancies himself. You see the way he turned on Tony there? He's a bully. And ah. he, he tried to bully RT on Friday night after the match by making the penalty issue. Out of his depth, in my opinion. I'd be interested to hear what the lads have to say. <laughs> See, the, 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 central, the, the flow would having a conversation about Noel King and his performance in the last couple of games. N nobody in the build-up to this had Noel King as a credible candidate to replace Trapattoni permanently. When he was given the job, John Delaney announced that he's not in the running. Nothing he's done since then would lead you to think that Delaney was wrong in what he's saying. No one's expecting him to be that, so we're measuring him against a standard that no one is expecting. But Richie, part of his job I is know. to deal with the media because the media are there for the fans and the people to, uh, and they I'm not defending his I'm just saying we're, we're seeing out of an interview but we're seeing it after, after he really came back he's he's he, back. he accuses Tony of denigrating the players and then he starts this whole guff about the green shirt you know we've yeah. had enough of that old guff in this country about the green shirt no one on this panel has with one exception me I said something that was a bit insulting to uh, Whelan, and I regretted it, uh, and I do regret it. Mm -hmm. We never denigrate the players, and Tony O'Donoghue certainly wasn't doing that. What he was doing was his job, and John has been an international team manager, and incidentally, he got plenty of stick in his time. Go on, John. What do you think? Reaction, I, think I, th I, th I think he's, he's been very, very immature uh, to, to react in the way that he has, because all international team managers have to answer questions, and, and most of it is probing. And because all managers think that they should get more credit than they deserve. And I think he, he, he moved the goalpost a little bit to, to accuse Tony of sort of attacking the players. Tony wasn't attacking the players. He was asking legitimate questions about the setup of the team. Mm -hmm. he, he was asking about McGeady. Uh, the, the, when McGeady came on, it proved that a winger could do a bit more than Stokes and, and uh, uh, Doyle did. And you go back to the point too, where you're saying about well, Stokes played there for a lot for Celtic and uh, Doyle for Wolves, um, yeah. times for Wolves. The fact is, if you ask anybody in football, what's the best position, what's Doyle's best position? It is without doubt centre forward, mm -hmm. striker. And Stokes is the same. That's the point we're making tonight. We're not saying how many times, we're not saying that Stokes never played on the wing before, yeah. or Doyle played on the wing. The fact is, with the selection of players that we have, they're better playing in the positions that they're used to playing in. I think that was a legitimate question from Tony to ask him. And I think he responded, uh, re his response was disappointed. You see, if you, if you start attacking the media, uh, then you're thrown, it's kind of, it's a smoke screen. Because the media becomes the issue rather than, you know, uh, questionable decisions. Leave James McLean out tonight to um, play players out of position. Kevin Doyle was clearly out of position tonight. Incidentally, he played on the left, while on the left, in a plan on Friday night mm -hmm. in Germany. And your football is about uh, a lot of things. And one of them is debate about players, about coaches. That's the right of fans. That's why they do it. That's why we love it. We can't have guys like that in an international team manager's position who want to stifle debate. And he did attack Tony O'Donoghue. He said to Tony, you've got to do your homework. Mm. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm not having that. I think that's not the way an international team manager should behave. And as John said, immaturity is a crime in international team management. He's just demonstrating what we knew already. He's not up to the job. And some managers, we can all think of a lot of examples, have given interviews some similar to that. You, or you call the heat of the moment. But it's on the back of months or years of a campaign or difficult. He's in the job two weeks. But he's only, he's only in it for two games. He knew that before he started, that he was only going to have it for two games. And, uh, you know, I don't know what the brief from the FAI was. First part was, look, don't get humiliated against Germany. He's won the game tonight. 
Yeah, but we're not talking about the we're game. We're talking about the end of the second season. We're talking about the response to the criticism. We're talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. We're not talking about the game. We're talking about the response as an international team on it to legitimate questions that were asked of by Tony tonight on that. And I think the response was poor, really poor tonight. Don't forget, mm -hmm. no king. Tony is on who's there asking questions on behalf of uh, the people watching this programme who are fans of soccer, who are also licensed players, incidentally. And ultimately, as he said, he works for the FAI, and their income comes from those people. Mm. So you, part of your job is to explain yourself, and the questions are invariably tough. Trapatoni had a lot of tough interviews with um, Tony O'Donoghue and took a lot of criticism, which he knew about on this programme. But he managed it with a certain eccentric charm. Indeed. He managed it. Uh, and I wouldn't have minded if, personally, what he says about me. But when he starts attacking a, rep a very mm. good and respected reporter working for this channel, when he starts attacking Liam Brady and John Giles, all in the space of three days, mm. uh, he is immature, out of his depth, and a little bit unpleasant. But we, he did receive some fairly harsh criticism did himself. He? What criticism did oh, you he well, no, 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 no. You're going to have to answer this, Tara. Uh, no, it's not no, up to me. I, you are going to have to answer this. It, what it was, was called tactically illiterate. No, what was called... That, that's right. That's yeah. a criticism of a coach mm. and his coaching methods. It's not a personal attack. Mm. Now, do you understand the difference between that? Yes. Good. Because the question... Know. No, implicitly in the question you asked me yeah. was that he had been subjected to personal attacks. No, I didn't say personal. It was implicit. Uh, I, no, well, it was implicit. But, you mean to say he shouldn't be questioned? This fact, he shouldn't be questioned? No, of course. But at the same time, he's, he's entitled to his right to reply, isn't he? But that wasn't and a right to reply. It wasn't reply. That was insulting <laughs> to Tony O'Donoghue, a person who was doing that job. Yeah. And the comments after the match on Friday were insulting on a number of grounds. Now, we decided before this program that we wouldn't talk about that. Uh, no, no, but he's trying to do they his job. Personal. And his job was for two games. Is his job to attack people personally? No, it's not. It's to manage the did international he, did team. Did he attack people personally? That, my opinion in that matter doesn't really count. Your opinion matters. And I've asked you and you've given okay. it to me. Richie, did he attack anyone personally? Uh, Are we going back here to his comments he made about this panel on Friday? I, I'm, I'm back not, to the way to... I have very little interest in Noel King's view of how RTE does their business. I, 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 and and if, he, if that's his way of choosing to, to, to respond to questions or criticism he believes he received, again, like the point I made, it just demonstrates further he's not somebody suitable for the job that he's been given on a short-term well, basis. And it's why he's only been given it on a short-term basis. Whether he, what he said about... I don't, know, I don't care what Noel King thinks about John or Eamon or Liam. It doesn't, it doesn't interest me one bit. What about Tony O'Donoghue? I think that was a lousy, absolutely lousy, unprofessional, ridiculous way to conduct yourself. Thank you. If you were, a, if you were a, an, a, of a lower standard, but if you're an international manager, absolutely, interim or not, you don't conduct yourself like that. But, but listen, as we, saw, as we witnessed, and Tony's a very experienced, very respected journalist, he's able to handle himself. But like, Good, just as well. Well... <laughs> I wouldn't expect no, anything less from no, Tony, no, but I don't. No, you no, know, Tony's a problem. But Tony is asking legitimate questions, and I, I think uh, uh, Noel King seemed to take it personally. But what he did do, he moved the goalposts as if Tony was yeah. attacking the players and not giving the players the credit. Mm -hmm. That's not what Tony was was, was intended to do. Tony was asking no. legitimate questions about the team and that. And Eamon mentioned, mentioned Trapattoni, and I remember reading Trapattoni when he first got into the job because he got an awful lot of criticism from us and from a lot of other people. Yeah. Trapattoni, but what he did say early on, Dad, is an experienced man that. He understood how the game works. He understood there would be criticism. There would mm. be understood that people, because of the interest in the team and interest in football and people in the interest, will debate and criticise him. And he said, I don't mind that. Yeah. It's part of the game. And it was never personal against Trapattoni. I don't think any of the criticisms we, we, we said, no King, was personal. It was a professional, professional mm -hmm. judgment. And I think Noel King said at the start of the, the, the pre-match that uh, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. But we're given our opinion. Yeah. And he did attack the panel over the weekend. He called it a comedy show. Mm -hmm. And it was a joke. You know, we didn't, I never said it, I didn't say that about him. We criticised his methods, not, not him on a personal basis. And I think he's entitled to that. In the position, I think he was just immature. Yeah. He doesn't know. He's taking it personal, the criticism that Tony gave about him and the players tonight. I'll give you and a good example, I'll give you a good example. Please. Yeah, Declan Kidney. 
has was, took some terrible stick mm -hmm. uh, and always went out like a man, like a gentleman, like a pro, and gave his answers in good for, in, a, in a good way. You see it all all the time in sport, heated debate, strong criticism. Joe Brawley, uh, people like that, yeah. um, great people. They're passionate, like the fans, and anybody who tries to stifle that uh, and tries to turn it into something nasty is wrong. Okay, guys, we've got one last break to take, so uh, 